Greetings. My name is Dr. Denisha Murph, and I'm the LAP Curriculum Coordinator here in Wayne Township. So let's go ahead and take a look at this final video to listen to four amazing African Americans who have made their mark in the world. We are also so thankful for all the educators who participate in these videos and put this work together because we know we are better together and it is an honor and a privilege to celebrate Black History Month. Good morning all. My name is Mrs. Miller and I'm the assistant principal at Ben Davis University High School. I am a graduate of Ball State University. Today's history in the making maker is none other than Mr. Tyler Perry. The mastermind behind 24 feature films, 20 stage plays, 17 television shows, two New York Times best-selling books, Tyler has built an empire that has attracted audiences and built communities from the Tyler Perry Studios, home base in Atlanta, Georgia, throughout the world. Celebrated among today's greatest cinematic innovators, his unique blend of spiritual hope and down-home humor continues to shape his inspiring life story, connecting with fans across the globe and always leaving space to dream. All right. People moving in, people moving out. Why? Why? Because of the color of the skin. Run, 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 but you sure can't hide. An I-49, a 242. Vote for me and I'll set you free. Rap on, brother, brother, rap on. Well, the only person talking about love, thy brother, is the preacher. It seems like nobody knew the rest of the learning but the teacher. Segregation, demonstration, humiliation, immigration, aggravation, and obligation to our nation. A ball of confusion. That's what the world is today. That was just a short version of a song from 1970 by The Temptations. Uh, it's not a rap song, as you can see. It really is an R&B classic, but it's a story that needs to be told and is still in the fabric of what America truly is today. And that song was written 53 years ago. Has much really changed. Hi, I'm Orlando Mason. I'm the guidance counselor, one of the guidance counselors here at Ben Davis Ninth Grade Center. I've been a guidance counselor with Wayne with Ninth Grade Center for the past 15 years. Um, I've been with Wayne Township for the past 23 years. I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio. Um, I've been a football coach in Cleveland and here in Indianapolis, um, football and track coach for the past 38 years. I'm a graduate of the University of Toledo and I earned my master's degree from Indiana State University. No, I do not play an instrument and no, I cannot sing, but I do love music. I think we all have a common bond in music um, and that's my particular music. Uh, music for Black America uh, started way before the turn of the century um, with the slave calls and the slave ships. Slaves were not allowed to sing because they felt that owners, slave owners, felt that was singing out signals for slave revolts and so forth. So we had call and response. We had the field holder songs. We had spirituals. We had gospel even back in the day. Of course, we had the blues. We had the boogie woogies back in the early, um, to early 20th century. Ragtime, jazz. We've had the swing, cotton club music. Uh, we had the sounds of the bebops of the 40s. The rhythm and blues came about in the, in the 60s, along with the rock and roll. Yes, we are part of rock and roll too, and heavy metal. Don't be surprised, okay? In the 70s, uh, we had the funk, we had psychedelic soul, we had disco, we had hip hop, the birth of hip hop. Anybody know the real song, the first original song? How about some Sugar Hill Gang, Rapper's Delight? I'm sure some of your teachers can probably sing some of that song. Uh, we had, in the 80s, you had electro music, we had house music. And then came the 90s, we had New Jack Swing. Uh, you had Neo Soul. In the 2000s, basically until now, you had the crunk music, you had the trap music. Hello, my name is Bria King Barrett, and I am a first grade teacher at Rhodes Elementary. My educational background starts by obtaining my bachelor's degree from Ball State University in elementary education, and I specialized in high ability. 
I am continuing my education through the program, the graduate program at Ball State University. In less than a year, I will obtain my master's degree in educational administration and supervision. I became a teacher because I love to learn. I grew up going to Wayne Township schools at the Chapel Hill 7th and 8th grade center, and I also graduated from Ben Davis. So I wanted to come back to Wayne Township to share my love of learning and my gift of teaching. Today, I'm going to be highlighting a young actress who is Black history in the making. Her name is Marseille Martin. Marseille Martin is best known for her role as Diane on the hit TV show, Blackish. Through her very short but amazing career as an actress, she has already won numerous awards such as BET awards and NAACP awards as well. And she's been the nominee for many award categories. Marseille Martin is Black history in the making because she is the youngest person ever in Hollywood to become an executive producer on a studio film. That film is known as Little. Hello, my name is Shatara Smith and I am the proud principal at Chapel Glen Elementary. For as long as I can remember, I have always wanted to be a teacher. As a child, I loved reading and learning about people and places that were very different from my own experiences. Being a teacher meant that I could help others discover a love for learning as well. The historic person I'm going to talk to you about today is Ms. Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou used her words to heal and inspire the world. She was a legendary poet, activist, teacher, and some may say, a phenomenal woman. Her best-selling autobiography includes, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. Out of the huts of history's shame I rise, up from a past rooted in pain I rise, a black ocean leaping and wide welling and swelling and bearing in the tide. Leaving behind nights of terror and fear, I rise into a daybreak miraculously clear, I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the hope and the dream of the slave. And so, wow, there I go. Thank you for listening to me share about one of my favorite authors, Miss Maya.